What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood subgator here. <laughs> so, um I was hanging out and I like to do the super jump as well. Mm. I actually uh, spend a majority of my time. This is kind of sad. I spend a good amount of my time here um, in Hypermine, like sometimes just chatting and doing this in my base. So I've did a couple of different upgrades here. I upgraded the barrel, the wallow barrels, and added some of the dimensional uh, storage upgrades to a couple of items and just some extra ones for some stuff that I have over 64 snacks of. And I've uh, been pumping extra seeds and extra wheat into the biomass uh, bio generator just to get extra fuel for the matter fabricator and I was about to work on making some hybrid solar panels uh, Bowman uh, a new guy on the server saying hello how do you type oh yeah T uh, so I was going to be working on getting some solar panels going and I thought hey why not bring the peeps over and just kind of walk you through uh, what advanced solar panel manufacturing is all about. So the first thing we need to do is go and grab some and I guess maybe we'll wait until we have the materials that we need. I have seven enriched Sunarium and if we take a look for solar panels here, solar, solar, solar. Uh, we need one enriched uh, sun scenario, pardon me, and uh, two iridium plates. Everything else we got in a, a, you know large numbers. Oh, I only have three advanced circuits, but tons of carbon plates um, and lapis blocks. Where are my lapis blocks? I got 16, so I got plenty of those. So. I thought I'd show you kind of what's going on. I got 10 levels now, and what I've been doing is kind of a trick to get unlimited free experience. So here's what it looks like. I'll kind of just show you. So I got some iron, taking the refined iron down to iron dust, taking the iron dust up to iron in the furnace like so, using the EPU because it's super fast. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> So uh, the real trick is this next part. So uh, if you take and you put your regular iron in your electric furnace and then you, you cannot shift click it out of here. So if you do not shift click it out, you'll gain experience from it. So this basically allows you to get free unlimited experience. All you need to do is take your refined iron, put it in your macerator, turn it into iron dust. Take your iron dust. Turn it into iron, turn that into refined iron in your electric furnace, bam, you get experience. Now, why do we need the experience? So this is for cesium, and it is what you get when you macerate uh, monazit ore. Now, if you take your for cesium and you stick it in, I think I showed you this guys, you guys this before, you stick it in here, go ahead and left click out, and then you can shift click out uh, the UU matter as you put it in the uncrafting table. So 16 levels will process all of 64 pieces of forsythium and uh, yeah so I've been doing that quite a bit um, and it's kind of a ghetto way to get XP but really the fastest way that I've seen so far um, and it's been it's been working really good like it, it makes it really easy to get that UU matter the easiest way that I've found to get it I don't really know if it's an exploit or not um, you may consider it one uh, but as long as it's in the game it's not uh, duping in any way um, it's working in the Minecraft Feed the Beast um, beta mod pack. I'm going to continue to use it. So, I got my 16 levels again. Oh, want to be in here. Bam, 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 bam. And, uh, yeah, this is kind of what Feed the Beast is all about. It's a lot of excitement. So now I got a stack in 14. And we need to get a couple more of these done. So I'm going to go ahead and do one of these speedy up bits. Let's go. Come on. 
Bam! So there. Bam. We're done. Just stick these in my ingots chest, like so. And so, right now I'm rocking almost two stacks. And I figure what we'll just do here is go ahead and make some iridium ore, like so. One of them. A couple of those. Give it to me. So we'll take the five we got left. Put it back in the safe. Get the iridium in the compressor. We're going to need diamonds and advanced alloy. We got 15 of those. 28. Take a whole stack. Stick these into your... Ooh, we might need more than nine diamonds. In your crafting table, like so. We're going to get seven plates. There's the iridium plate. Put the alloy back. Put the diamonds back. So now I have 11. Cut them in half. I can do five panels. And I think that's what we're going to do. So let's start uh, gathering the materials we need to get the five solar panels done. Um, in order to do that, we're going to need five panels. So we're going to take our electric wrench. Charge it up a little bit. Get some juice in the food helmet. We're gonna go up top because it's nighttime and raining, so that should be for amazingness. That should make for an amazing piece of video footage. Uh, why don't we take the teleporter? Just because I like to waste EU. Bam. So actually, it looks like it's just overcast day. Out here is the solar array that I have, and I said we were gonna do five. So I got two there. Let's go ahead and just come back here. Let's start grabbing these two, three, Four, five, like that. Are you gonna make it so? I, are you serious? Really? All right, let's go ahead and fill this back in real quick. Two, three, four, five. and head back down to the shop. Let's do the teleporter. Why not? All right, so to get the advanced hybrids, we need the enriched sun radium, iridium plate, carbon plate, so we need 10 of those, five lapis blocks. Let's go ahead, one, two, three, four, five. So we needed 10. Uh-huh. Ten of those, five of those, and then we needed some advanced circuits, correct? I only have three. So let's go ahead and take a look how we make those electric circuits with all that stuff and things surrounding it. Um, let's make 16, just for giggles. We need... That should be enough of all of that. So like so, we'll just stick that right into the bench. Bam. Bam. So now we got 16 of those bad boys. And we'll put some stuff away. Nope. Yep. We can actually... Well, I'll keep the wrench just in case I misplace something. So I think we got everything we need to get these hybrids online. So we'll just take and stick the recipe in there. Five of those, five of those. Like so. And we have five hybrids, a little leftover advanced circuitry. So now we got our five hybrids. Let's head back up and back out. Ugh. Come down to the array. Like so. And we'll put our protection glass back on. Like so. And I think a Ender Girl stole some of my, my dirt. Alright, so now we got 
a bunch. A bunch of hybrids. And as I go along, I just kind of, every time I can do like four or five of them, I just come down here and start transferring them, changing them over to uh, the hybrids. And I'll do that for the advanced hybrids as well once we get to a point where we can do those. Um, and the whole reason that it takes time is it's the basically the iridium shortage so I need power to make iridium uh, with the matter fabricator that's that line that goes up to the array of solar panels there and I just stick this on here because I just have extra wheat and seeds and it gives me something to do like every once in a while I'll just take some of these out I've actually converted this at this point so it's creating plant balls for me and then just piping them into the old bread chest that we don't need anymore because we have a food hat on so that's kind of what goes on on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, other than that, lately I have been looking into a couple of other things. Um, some different technology for mining. I did fill up on netherrack, but let's go ahead and let me take you over here to the mining area and we'll just check up on it real quickly. So, I finished a couple of mines here. Load in, big guy. Finished a couple of the mines here and set up uh, a new one. You can see some weird wood patterns there because I was filling in some water. But uh, just still mining on this world. And the reason is I tried to playing around with a filler. Let's see if there's anything good in here. So you got some monazit, which is like super important. Monazit is basically like finding iridium. Um, so that's awesome. Go ahead and grab that stuff. But I started playing around with a filler. And I can show you what I did. Now, I had heard about them from Iron Face. And I guess I had also heard the Etho was playing with them. So I came over here, and me and actually Armitage was hanging out as well. And we were just playing around with it, trying to see uh, what we could do. And we ended up setting up some water streams on each side uh, with a central trough area that funneled into a void pipe, or pardon me, an obsidian pipe, and that piped over to, to these two chests. Now, what ended up going on was what we found was it was really neat and it 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 tunneled up to the surface I mean it tunneled all the way up here I mean within a matter of like seconds like it must have been easily less than a minute what up fat slime um, and it was it was great and all but the setup time and the amount of monitoring that we had to do was was extensive um, I think we could have set it up. We had a couple of, you know, opportunities, I guess you'd say. Um, some of the uh, falling blocks were, um, were negating some of the uh, water sources that we had. Um, we had the water sources basically right here. And as the blocks fell, if they were uh, gravel blocks, they fell on top of the water source. So really what we should have done um, was put them in one block like up in there so that anything falling on top couldn't take them out um, also in here if gravel fell it would block that up and we had to kind of take that out too so there's another challenge for us to to try to figure out uh, if we were to do it again but honestly I really truly believe that although it was really cool and a fun experiment it seemed like it was more of a pain than it was worth in the end uh, quarry once you get the initial quarry set up, it's kind of no fuss, no muss. You just have it set up, and then, um, as I've done, and I can kind of show you, we can head back to the quarry real quick. Whoa. And I'll show you kind of what I mean. So with this quarry, once I had this initial piece set up, which doesn't take very long, it's just a couple solar panels, you know what I mean? Some pipes. And once I had this initial piece set up, I quarried that, that, and that from this one position. And it took days and days, but I had to do very little work. Like, all I had to do was come over here, set four landmarks, and turn that quarry. And then, boom, I have a whole new, entirely new quarry. And it only takes an instant. And it works all the time when I'm AFK. So, you know, if I'm not even in the game, I still get my items. So, I don't know. I think if you needed items in a hurry, a filler would work for you. But in the long run, quarries just seem easier over time. Now, there's another block that I haven't played with yet. And it's something that I saw Etho use as well. It's called a miner. Um, and 
a mining block or a miner, what does it need? Machine block, what's this? Refined iron and a tree tap. Let's actually make one right now. So I know I have machine blocks. Um, let's go ahead and take care of some of the stuff. Put you in there. Mon is it. Um, those look good. Some of that. Machine block here. Bam. Uh. Iron. Silver. Lead. Silver. We can just keep this stuff. All right. So... We needed two of these bad boys and mining pipe, which was refined iron and a tree tap. So we can get some wood, make a tree tap. Ugh. Refined iron we got right here. I'm doing good. <laughs> there we go. All right, and then we just take, and I remember correctly, it was like this. Bam, so that's a mining block, or a miner. Boy, I'm getting full up here on like stuff and things. So much stuff and things in this game. Um, but a, what a miner will do, are you full? I don't even want, I don't want extra dirt. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my... I don't think I showed you guys this. My trash can. That's a piece of appetite, and it just pumps into a void pipe. And that's because it's appetite for destruction. <laughs> Get it? Wah, 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 wah. Um, so... Oh, wow, where am I? Yep, see? Just pumps it out and voids it. Alright, so the mining block, it really is kind of weird. All you do to it is... You, like, set it on the ground, like so. Um, it has an interface here where you put a drill and a sensor in it. So, let me go ahead and see here. Yeah, you use these different diamond, diamond drills or mining drills, advanced diamond drill. You can fi affix them inside the miner. Now, this is like some sort of sensor array. And that must not be it. I don't know exactly what it is that you fit in there. Um, but what it does is it will start off, I do believe it's like a three by three block, uh, like so. So like it will look underneath it in a three by three area all the way down to bedrock. And it will actually bring up and put into, I, I'm sure you could pipe it out, um, into a chest, any ore only. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, when you add the sensor arrays to it, it will go up to nine by nine. Um, and I think that's something that we're going to play with next. Uh, probably end up powering it with solar power. Uh, and I'll use, I'll do something on that mining world where I have, um, or I have the quarry set up now and do some tests, but that will probably be for next time. I think I'm going to wrap it up for today, guys. Thanks very much for hanging out. Um, I guess the only thing to show you now is that I took out the ugly fountain. I am aesthetically challenged. A little bit aesthetically challenged, I'll admit it. But I think that some of my stuff is cool. I do all right with what with the tools that I have. But I had this big old fountain here, and it looked just awful. And uh, I just put some plants in, some trees. And I think that's cool. It doesn't need to be ridiculous. You know what I mean? It can just be something simple and pretty. And it, it's good. But, yeah, so that's all I have to do to tell you guys today. I hope that you had fun hanging out. If you did have a good time or you liked the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. You're always allowed to favorite and all that stuff. Share it. Spam it. Don't spam it. I mean, don't spam it. Spam it. Don't spam What? I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyway, thanks very much for hanging out. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Kia. Oh,
Yeah, for